Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple calculator using Java NetBeans. Are you bored or you just click this video because of the awesome thumbnail? Or your professor told you to do a Java program last week but you just forgot about it and tomorrow's the due date. Well sit back and relax because that's the exact thing that I'm going to show you today. But first, a word from our sponsors. Sponsor, Glasswire. With Glasswire, you can monitor the apps on your PC. <laughs> okay, now on your computer, open your Apache NetBeans. Or if you don't have Apache NetBeans, just search on Google netbeans and just find the nearest link and open it and download it it's gonna pop up the latest netbeans or whatever okay once you've opened it this is just an overview i'm just gonna show you what we're gonna expect at the end of this video and this is what i've made beforehand so let's just test it out times 12 equals 144 uh, 1 plus 1 equals 2 okay okay so that works but I'm gonna guide you first so first click files and then click new project and then you're gonna be shown this window here Java with ant so you're just gonna pick that and then you're gonna pick Java applications and then click next and don't create a main class because we're gonna create uh, another class with its own new okay okay so firstly click file and then click new project and then you're gonna be shown with this window so click Java with ant and then Java application and then you're gonna create your project name um, Java project then click finish just wait for it to finish and then on Java project right click it the new and then click JFrame form then uh, name that JFrame form to simple how cute and it's our Java project on the Java project and then click finish. Now you're here on your canvas or, or your working area. So this is the rectangle you're going to be start with. Then just resize it to whatever size you want. But if you're modeling it after a real calculator, so just this one, you can see it's rectangle. So I'm just going to maybe put here and this uh, this beside here are the buttons that you're gonna put it on so first we're gonna put a text field and that's the text field or the uh, screen that you see on a normal simple calculator this one is scientific so just drag it that's the uh, magic on NetBeans all of it is automatic not like Eclipse or other Java environments that uh, we've used before. Okay. First, you're gonna customize this. Then right-click the text field properties, and then it's gonna show this fonts. Just follow what I'm doing for now. So I'm gonna put it Toma 18, and then you. When you see a calculator, you're not going to see the text the left side of it. So, I'm going to change the alignment, horizontal alignment here. Click leading, and then click right. Then, this still shows. J text field 1. So, we're just going to clear the text that's showing. So, close. Okay. Now, onto the buttons. Okay, you're just going to drag your mouse here, and then click the button drag it over here and then resize that button to whatever size you want okay 
Now right click it again to customize it. And then font to Homa again. Bold and then just uh, make it a little bit small because it's the buttons. And then here, just uh, name it whatever you want. Just for now, because we're just going to change it later. Okay, close. So as you see, this is your first ever button right here. Okay, just control -C, click it and then control C to copy it and then control V to paste it. Now, uh, you just copy your button, all of its contents, and then just do it all over again. So I'm not going to bore you with the uh, this, I'm just going to fast forward the video. Okay, there. You laid out your buttons one by one. Now, we're gonna change whatever these buttons are. Like on a calculator, just like what I've done here. So, I'm just gonna show you one per log. Just put in the text and log. Log. And it's over and over. Bit, bit by bit you're gonna change them so again I'm just not gonna bore you with whatever this is what under the name changing is just gonna fast forward again okay there that's the end it's the last button configured customize whatever okay next is source now this is the source code this is the design this is the source code and as you can see there's a lot of things that we are about to configure so just one misstep here is gonna ruin all the programs so make sure that you don't misclick or mistype anything okay now here comes the tricky part so here way up here and below here you're gonna declare the doubles num1 for first number num2 for the second number and the results because now the string or operation because now we're gonna input all of these buttons right here okay go back to the source code now that's done don't confuse or don't misplace it because anywhere else on the code it's not gonna work if you put it anywhere else on the code it's not gonna work okay now that we're here again double click the button and just this sometimes happens but just search for that cursor blinking cursor there and that's where you wanna change the code so num1 for number one So num1 for number 1, and then double, parse double, and then jtx field, one that set text. Okay, don't forget the semicolon. Okay, okay, something's wrong. Oh, excuse me, it's supposed to be get text. Yeah, I can get the, get the text on there. Now we're gonna chat sex field one and set text. Now here here we're gonna set the text to nothing. Okay. Then operation equals plus there. There. No, do not always do forget semicolon. Okay, there. So that there is our plus button. So again, just copy paste, double click, and put it there. Okay. Also for the equals. Excuse me, no, not for the equal. Okay. So copy, double click on the cursor, change it to minus. 
click, double click, change it to multiplication. Click, double click, change it to division. Okay, now that's done. Now we're gonna put the function on our equals button. So double click it. So double click it. And here I'm gonna put num2. And then double parse double jtx field on the get text. Excuse me. And then enter. Now we're gonna make a choice here. So when you click the button equals is if operation is equals to plus then then result equals to num1 plus num2 and then then jtx field one set text open and close parentheses double two string the result open and close parentheses again result okay okay so that's for the plus so else if you're gonna do it again operation is equals to minus and then just copy and paste this okay and then change it to minus okay so just to repeat this two more times you could we have four operations remember okay do that one more time yeah change it to print multiplication then change oh sorry sorry change this minus this to multiplication and the last one for division there now all of our buttons all of these operations now have their functions okay let's test it out okay here so 12 plus 12 equals 24 okay that's a good job that's a good job guys you're following this far okay so it doesn't have clear backspace sign call sign log no but now we're gonna go into that so logarithmic cosine and sine okay now we're moving on to the math functions now double click this and then just like the other codes here then we're gonna put just follow my code so double equals to t equals math now this here is the math function of Java because Java has its own automatic math functions. So Java, so it's the button for logarithmic. So that log, log, and then, then open and close double dot parse double. Open and close j text field one that get text okay now that okay that's now that's done it's the first oh what's happening oh i see i see i put an extra equals here do not put that there <laughs> okay okay now j text field one set text and that there 
there. And uh, JTX field. One that sets text. J text field, J text field, one, get text there, and then plus and then the T. Okay, so this here is for the logarithmic function, math function. And now we're just gonna copy and paste it with these cosine. I'm gonna copy and paste this and this, and just change this one for the cosine. And then to the sign. So put sign there. Okay. Well, that's done. Let's test it out. Run your program. Wait for it to load. And this 12 log is 2.48. There. But we still don't have for clear everything in clear. Okay. That's we're gonna do next okay first let's code clear the backspace rather so clear this out then type string backspace equals to null okay okay now type if j text field one text field one get text to length get text open and close parentheses then length here is more than zero oh sorry 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 open and close parentheses this should be the condition now put open and close curly braces so just put string builder s equals new string builder now open and close j text field one that get text then semicolon oh excuse me just no, there okay it's fine okay now type backspace s sorry uh, equals s dot to string colon then j text field dot Set text then back space there now that this will just delete one digit on your calculator let's test it out okay here so one two three four five six seven eight nine and when you click on clear Uh, okay. Okay, sorry guys, uh, I forgot that you should put here, here, this code right here. So s dot delete char, delete character at j text field that get text, then minus one. So it's just gonna delete one digit on the calculator let's test it out again okay so one two three four five six and then when you click clear it's just gonna delete one okay okay still have this okay now we're gonna go to that so in my nature of just saving the easiest for last this is the most easiest code ever so just set text um dot j j text field let's get text 
then put it there. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant to put this here. There. G text field that sets x equals to nothing. It's gonna clear everything on the screen. So let's test it out. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then click clear everything. It's clear. So one, two, plus one, two equals twenty-four. Then put click clear everything. Clears it. So there you have it, folks. Then click sign, and then clear everything. Then twelve, twelve, one clear everything okay so before I forgot in the essence of being this your own code let's put our signatures on it design then ge click generate center it's supposed to be clicked off generate center so that when you run the program run the app it's gonna appear on the center of the screen and then on properties Let's put a title on it. <clears throat> Simple calculator. There. Close it. So when you run it, it goes into the center and then shows you the simple calculator right here. And that's it. That's that's the whole thing. That's the whole video for today. You've just made a simple calculator that quick okay that is it guys that is it for this video for today now the only thing to do is just show this to your professor and bask in the glory of having to show off your skills in programming Java programming to be exact using NetBeans and I won't ask for much, just a simple like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And that is it guys, catch you on the next job of programming. Don't forget, Jello Codes. <laughs>